So if you guys have ever gone to the store expecting to spend just a little bit of money and walked out spending way too much, well, I just did that too in a different way, not for groceries or anything. I went to go buy a can of paint to finally finish Hudson's new plow. I did, and then I also bought a new toy, which you'll probably see in the thumbnail. We're gonna check that out in a second. It's very, very, very cool. Let me show you the plow, and then we'll give a nice review and look about the new toy. So we got broken tractors, which is nothing new if you've had tractors, but we did finish the plow which you see right here behind me. If you watch the video, which is released on Hudson's Playground channel, you'll see that we lost this and that one during the video. If you miss it, you might have not seen it. Go back and watch it and you'll notice we start with four, we end up with three, and then at the very end, we end up with two. The reason for that is when we welded them on, we didn't have brackets like we do here now. The middle ones have this piping, so they were nice and secure. The two outsides had nothing. So we added this little plate as a little more uh, resistance to try and help when it's digging in the dirt. But I was very impressed with the plow. It actually performed better than I was expecting. It tore up the ground pretty good. The tractor, honestly, also I'm impressed with. With no gears and just a Ford, I was a little worried that it was gonna struggle on the lower end with not enough torque. It did very good though. It pulled that through a lot of dirt, even grass and was tearing up stuff. I wanna test it out in a field that's a little more loose. The one we tried it in, it was very hard. We were actually gonna diss the field. We had some problems. The tractor broke down, yada, yada, yada. So we ended up just trying it in a field that was just a field with no torn up dirt, nothing pre-recorded. We just went out there and tried it and it, it worked pretty good. Honestly, I'm impressed. So I think if we take it to a field that has loose dirt, it's really good. I mean, it's, it was slinging dirt everywhere. So I'm excited for that. We're gonna put this to the ultimate test here pretty soon. But enough about this. You were here for the new vehicle. So let's go check it out. All right, so we bought a Jeep, as you can tell. Very, very cool, honestly. It's very similar to the tractor that we have. It's motorized, it's Posi-Track, it's got a real engine, it's got lights, it's got horns, it's got all the goodies. It's kind of cool because I don't have anyone to record me, so I can't really show you how big it is, but I can drive this thing. I literally can drive it. It's got horns, blinkers, uh, the lights in the back work. Let me show you the lights in the back. We'll take it for a test drive here in a second. I wanna show you how it works. It even has an actual spare tire. It's got a gas can that comes with it. This thing is cool. The tires are about the same size as the tractor. It's got side mirrors, which is pretty cool. I, I feel like this thing is actually pretty close to being street legal. It's got reverse lights, brake lights, and blinkers. They all do work. It's got a horn. Very, very loud, so I'm not gonna press that. It's got lights and blinkers up front. It has a speedometer. This thing is awesome. I will say though, I think it's probably a little more complicated than Hudson's tractor. The only reason I say that is because it's a three speed. So it actually has first, second, and third. I'll show you in a second when we take a little cruise around the farm. It has reverse, has neutral, has parking brakes, but the shifting so far, I have a feeling Hudson's gonna struggle with that a little bit. Maybe once he learns it, it won't be a big deal. But if that was my major complaint on the tractor was it didn't have low end torque, it went pretty fast. So that eliminates that first gear on this, goes very slow, got a lot of torque, can probably pull stuff. So that kind of really eliminates my biggest complaint about the tractor, makes it a little harder probably for Hudson. But I think all the stuff that we're gonna end up building for this, one other thing I will say about this is it does not come with a hitch. Not gonna be hard for me to make one, but Tractor came with one, which was pretty cool. So we'll get one built for this, but there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff I can build for this. Hudson's gonna love this Jeep. Holly's gonna love the Jeep. I mean, we can build turret trailers and all sorts of cool army things. I'm excited. Honestly, we'll probably use this to do our camper stuff instead of the tractor. This kind of makes more sense than the tractor. We'll use the tractor for tractor stuff. Also, so far I've noticed it seems like this runs a little better than the tractor. It turns on much easier, but let's give it a go and I'll show you how it works. Turns on fairly simple. I do like it has, it lets the kids know, so neutral. We're in reverse, back to neutral. So it's got three speeds, one, two, and three. So that's pretty cool. I do like that. Probably a little more difficult for the kids. It's got a beefy transmission. You can feel it when you shift. Let's go for a cruise. Nice. I will 
will say this thing probably goes about 25 miles an hour, which is probably a little too fast for Hudson. Um, so there might be a way that I can governor this or keep it in second gear or something like that. But it's, it's pretty cool. It's got a big enough seat for two adults probably. I don't really know the weight capacity. I didn't read about all that, but I'm loving this Jeep. Pretty fast. I'm gonna leave it idling. It runs great. It's nice and quiet too. When you're driving it, it's a little fast and it's a little loud. But for the most part, I love it. It might be a little too big for Hudson, so this might be something we ease into. Or like I said, I'll find a way to governor it and make it slower where it's a little more safe for him. Um, it's got seat belts. It's got, well, obviously wear helmets, all the necessities for something like this, but it's a lot of fun. I wanna know, guys, what can I build for this? I have a few ideas. I'm not gonna tell you because I don't wanna spoil them. I want it to be natural. You'll come, you'll watch the video, you see, you're like, wow, that's cool. So. I have some ideas. I'm sure some of you will have the same ideas as I do. Comments down below or let us know on the Instagram or email us or whatever, I don't care. I try and read everything. I don't reply to everything, I'm sorry. I try my best though. So let me know, for this, what could we do? A lot of ideas, I love this thing. Might be cooler than the tractor, I'm not gonna lie. I might like this just a little bit more than the tractor. It's not a tractor. I love tractors, but this thing, very, very cool. So coming soon, thanks for this. We finished the plow. What's next? I'm building something next. Maybe we'll build something for this next. Let me know down below. Until next time, bye.